Sometimes you, you have these little um, sparks of inspiration um, that come out, that, that come from within you. You know it's not you copying someone else or it's not doing what, what you should do, but it like comes from a deep place inside of you where you're like, gosh, it, and you know what? It's typically a little bit scary because it's so big and you don't know if it's possible and you don't know how it's gonna happen and you don't know if you actually have what it takes. And so what happens is you start to shut it off right? You start to pull back or you, you let yourself think of it a little bit and then you don't. Who am I to actually dream that big, right? Who am I to make that difference? Who am I to be standing up there shoulder to shoulder with like a Tony Robbins, a Brendan Burchard and Oprah Winfrey, right? So how dare we not dream big? How dare we not believe that it's possible for us to? And so I just felt like I had to come on and share it because I could feel it in my body. Like, wow, maybe somebody else needs to hear this too. And it was a reminder for me that a lot of the time we are fearful that we can't do it because most of the time we're trying to do it ourselves. We're trying to figure it out on our own and we're trying to muscle our way through. And when we have a vision that, that is that big, where it carries the weight of like, God put this on me, the universe put it on me, I wanna make a difference in the world, you have to realize that you are here for a big purpose and you're not gonna be able to do it alone. You're not gonna be able to do it alone. So when I start being afraid of that vision or when I start like downgrading it, that's how I know I'm starting to resort to not um, getting enough support, not working with enough people, not asking more people to help me, not saying enough times, I don't know how to do this, right? It, it, it's a reminder that I'm falling into that kind of lone wolf where I'm trying to do it on my own. And so I wanna share this with you in case it like wakes up something in you. You know, if you know that you're one of those people who has this big vision, you, you have a big mission, and you're kind of hiding out, you know, trying to do it on your own or even ignoring it, then this is my call to you is you don't have to do it alone and it is possible. And the other thing is just the pursuit of it, just living your life every day out there, taking steps and actions and making connections that would possibly manifest that, that's really all that is required. And it reminds me, I don't need to be attached to how it's going to happen or when. It reminds me that I don't need to know the end results. I don't even need to know if it's going to succeed or work out. All I need to know is that I had the belief in myself, the belief in God and the universe for giving me that vision and the, 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 the love in my heart to actually put myself out there, the love in my heart for others to put myself out there and just try to make a difference. And so that's what I wanna to say to you now is you don't have to do it alone and it doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to know the end result. But if you have that deep, big vision in your heart and you know that you can make a really big difference in the world and for generations to come by what you do now, then you've gotta get out there and do it. You've gotta just start and it doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to do it alone. In fact, you can't do it alone.